So in today's episode, I don't know if you guys know this about me, but I am a disaster recovery kind of person, which means if there's water to be had or energy to be needed, I'm going to have that or electricity or power or hidden money, something that's in case the hits the fan, I'm that guy. So in today's episode, we're going to look for a disaster recovery plan for power. And the only thing that I can think of is getting the Goal Zero Yeti 1000 portable power station. And that's coming up. Hey, what's up guys? This is Herve from Herve's World, showing you that IT means I try. If you're new to the channel, thanks for stopping by. Don't forget to subscribe. So on this channel, we do unboxings, desktop support, life hacks, actual hacking, and tech reviews great products. Now, Goal Zero is a fabulous company that's gonna give you fumeless, reliable power. And in this one device, you're gonna have 1,000 hours of power to do what you will. It's able to be charged on many, many different platforms. And in case we get a blackout or I need power on the go, it's very, very portable. Anything we discuss in this episode, you'll find right on the bottom over here. Let's go. Take a look. Let the unboxing begin. Now, this is an exclusive item that you can only get on Amazon. This is a really well-built system. That's gonna give you on the go power for whatever you need and it will do large appliances and as such that you can charge. So let's take a look. This is a powerful portable station and it has Goal Zero's latest power on here. So let's see. Okay, let's take a look. So let's see how this comes in. So we have some documentation, we got styrofoam, and then we got our power station. Now this is a portable power station that is going to be very, very comfortable to carry. There's nothing else in the box. Okay, now this is the Go Zero 1000. It's dependable, powerful lithium battery technology, which has seven versatile port options. We have a quick USB-C, 60 watt. We have two USB-As. We have a 1.8 uh, USB-C. We've got car charging and different options here to charge. But you also have some power inputs here that you could store as well store away as well. Now this is clean power generation. The Yeti 1000 core is capable of 1200 watt inverter or 2400 uh, watt surge. It's designed to handle everything from devices that are require a lot of power, uh, electronics to small appliances, portable laptops, fridges, coffee makers, and more. This is gonna be really good if you need power outdoor or indoor for disaster recovery plans. Uh, this is a really good option. It includes 120 watt power supply and you're gonna plug it into the eight millimeter charging port and it's gonna recharge this puppy in about nine hours. Now, the available 230 power watt, which is sold separately, is gonna do it a lot faster. It's gonna charge it, this, in four to five hours. But I also got the 12 volt power charge. So in case, now I have an electric car. So when you are using the car, all you gotta do is plug it in and you'd be able to go. I'd be able to charge while I'm charging my car. You see here, you have power draw to turn it on. All you do is you hit power. To turn the AC power, you turn right here. So we're gonna test a couple things and see how this would go, but you have 999 hours to empty. Now 999 hours equals 41.6 days of power. Not bad. And it's really light and portable. It makes it really convenient if you're on the go and you need the extra power right here. So let's plug some things in and see what 
will make this puppy work. Okay, a couple other things. You have very versatile options for a port. You have seven different ports. You have included fast charger 60 watt USB-C power delivery. You have multiple USB-A ports right over here and a regulated 12 point a uh, 12 volt port right over here for car charging and two 120 volt AC ports right over here. So it's perfect for a portable backup system that you can just throw in the back of your car if you're going camping. This is it. But if you are in a pinch, an old building in Jersey City sometimes had a power outages and we didn't have a power backup system. So during a hurricane, when Sandy hit, uh, we didn't have power. So from then, I always wanted to look for, uh, to make sure we had disaster recovery, water and power. So I suggest you guys do that the same. You never know how the weather has been changing nowadays. So here, you have 1000 powers of hour. Entertainment, charge all your devices and it's really, really light. I'm gonna use this mostly for my Synology NAS, which incurs a lot of power. Plug it in here and I can use it whenever I want. It also has Wi-Fi enabled app, which we're gonna download and see what we can power with this puppy. So don't forget to like and subscribe. Um, make sure you stay tuned because we've got a lot of cool stuff coming up. As you see, we started the year off with a bang. Do me a favor, hit that like, hit subscribe. Let's take a look. So the first thing we're going to test is our studio light. Now this is an actual movie quality light. Um, in case you had a blackout and you needed light, well, that's the light to get. And let's zoom in right over here so you can see some of the readout, the I.O. that you get. And if you want to turn this on, anything that you can plug, you can plug here. So we'll turn on the AC power and then you'll see that it will have how much time to empty. It will tell you how much you're using. You can see it will take here 21 hours to empty. And then you can see how it's going down. But it's really, really important information that you never got before with a Go Zero device. Really, really intuitive. And it gives you all the information that you need. Okay. If you were in a garage and you're working and you needed some heat, let's see if it powers something that requires a lot of energy. That works. And it has a fake fireplace. Thought you guys find that funny. Really, really cool. Anything with power you can run off of it. So really cool, really easy. And let's see. It says three hours to empty. Let's do it on low. And it actually changes right there. You can see that's four hours to empty. Pretty cool. Really cool. Well, that's going to do for this episode. I will catch you guys in the next one. Now remember, be safe about using this. This is really cool uh, power whenever you need it. And that's going to do it for this episode. I will catch you guys in the next one. Remember, IT means I try. You could only get this particular variant on Amazon. So I will put some links on the bottom for you guys. But anything you can plug in, this will power. I will catch you guys in the next one. Next, we'll discover and explore the 12-volt battery car charger. That's going to do it. Peace.